making this video of Blackbird Champion. Homozygous Dun, Homozygous Agouti, Homozygous Black, I believe. All I know is for sure he's supposed to produce or sire 100% of what he is, not what he's right now. So, I like that deer skin color done, and he does have a nice mask. He's got that little bit of white on his forehead. Little strip. And the sorrel and the gorilla are yearlings, so you can see how much, how tall he is. He's not cow hocked. He does have both testicles around. There's some pictures of that this winter in the barn. And uh, he's been out to pasture here. Grass is just now coming green, but he's been out here for two weeks. Big country. For these poor boys. Brought it up. Out here, they got to drink stock pond water. There's a little bit of a spring creek running through it. Um, they're around bob wire. Tractors, farming going on all around them. There's the pasture poles just over the hill. They get to go up and down hills. And, uh, are used to all kinds of things. Coyotes and you name it. There's also a road right here beside them so they're around cars and trucks roaring down this gravel road. And uh, so there he is. He looks like a typical yearling. He's not thin. He's just stretchy right now. He's growing. I believe he'll be bigger of the black, taller and bigger of the black ferns. Um, only because his mom has got some size to him, to her. And um, he should, I believe, reach her, her height, which is a good 14.3, maybe. Maybe he'll reach 15 pounds. I don't know much about Mr. Blackbird Champ as far as looks. I know what he, historically his colts are doing very well and lots of events in rodeo, team roping and calf roping, and uh, a lot of using type horses. Uh, a very popular stallion over there in Montana. He's no longer around. And I was fortunate to get a couple daughters of his that were bred foundation, where most of his offspring was crossed on to I. Jackson, and Doc Bars, and, and horses like that. So there's not very many foundation ones bred like champion with his grandsire on there. And he is a true one hundred percent based on the National Foundation for the Horse Registry. Um, they trace on a back in the nineteen hundreds or so and Farmyard. Not getting right now, but he's a very good colt that way. All these black friends are pretty serious, and I would say these two boys are really good and calm that way. Where the new one I just brought out to pasture here, the one behind me, he's a little more. Jumpy mare. Always queenie like queenie. This cold home was I guess done. 
but he is able to produce brewlust, this one would, as well as my little boy walking around over there, and of course the grula, but he's not homozygous, though, just homozygous black, but a hero this is kind of like a seahorse on his forehead. boys are the exact same color right there. He's got a lot of done factor up those legs, all the way up to his forearm. He's got tiger stripes. They see more farming equipment going on. They're all looking over there. There's a little brother out. Let's see if I can back up. I don't want them to leave without him. So those four right there are all the sons of the 946 horse. The sorrel's real thick and cheapy. And uh so is the hero colt just nice and thick. I like them like that. They don't always start out that way. Get this boy out of here safely. Come on. Your brothers, hooligans. Maybe they were gonna. Sorrel is out of an illuminator daughter, and this hero is out of a uh, Blackburn 165, the beauty. Always has a big, like top of the line for a head, but big ears, big ears. Where Champ has an average head and nice little ears and very foxy little ears. There are no cookies. There's no cookies. Who wants to be friendly? He is, but when he's in a pack, he tends to follow the crowd. They know where the field is. Give it to them. Maybe I will. Oh, he's going to come in here. That's perfect. He likes cookies. He knows the cookies. <laughs> Hello, good looking. Come back in here. Probably going to step in a hole. Here's his nice mask. He's got a big set of jaws on him already. Oh, good boy. It's a pretty boy, the Champers. Now they have to go down to the pond to get water, and so that's why their legs are a little. 
brothers are leaving me. Not all of them. Doris stripe is a really pretty chocolate color. And he's deep in the girth. I really like that about my black room there. They all have a nice deep girth and a wither. And uh, I don't know if you can see his dorsal there. <laughs> yeah, he's watching his other brother, the goofy new one. Oh, Doc. The big bay is kind of the babysitter Geldy out here with these boys, kind of showing them not to be afraid of things. And being the boss man, huh? Well, I hope this is what you wanted. Anybody wants him? He's 100% he's, uh, homozygous done. Homozygous a goody, which means he can't have rule. So I just learned that myself here. Hello, honors. Yeah. He says, I know who you are. Yeah. The ticks aren't too bad on him right now. I don't see any, actually. Ah. Come on. Quit, quit chasing that colt. Put him through the wire. Come on. Behave. Oh, you're gonna be sick. Push him through the fence. Come on, Doc. What he has is a dog bar horse. Bye.